Hi Aries, welcome to your love read for the day. I hope you're doing fantastic. So let's go ahead and see what the tarot is showing for your romantic love life. Angels and spirits, please show us the energies for Aries and their romantic love life. What do they need to see? Aries, first house energies and their romantic love life. Okay, asking spirit for a message here. The Ten of Cups, okay. And the Knight of Swords. There's some energy of urgency or somebody lashed out or is lashing out. Maybe somebody was messaging you the challenge is that there's a lot of love here there's a lot of love in this connection okay let's see what we got in Ooh, the death card okay something here is changing there is a transformation there's a change that's going on and uh what is going on in the past okay Queen of Wands, hmm, Chariot, you find out about travel or movement, underlying energy is a change, drive safe, I always get worried when I see these cards, but um, let's see what we have here coming into the future, refusing to give up on the situation, there is some Painful thoughts. Okay, Six of Cups is the person around you. Friend, family member. You want justice? And something takes off in one direction. All right, what is the death card here? The ending of a page of swords. So there could be something here about a conflict you were having with a person. Um, what is the nine of wands? Show me nine of wands. The nine of cups, okay. There's going to be a very positive change here. Um, you become aware of a victory, a determined person. Um, what is this page of swords? Ooh, the devil. So this toxic situation is going to be over. Um, what is the ten of swords? Ten of coin. Okay, you invested a lot of time into something, maybe money. And it was draining you. So something is going to change. What is the Six of Cups? Okay, there could be a Leo or courage or strength. What is the Eight of Wands? What is this fast movement forward? The wheel. Okay, so something changes quite suddenly. There's a sudden change for the better. Um... You're very happy about it. I mean, the future brings in happiness. What is the strength card here and the six of cups? Seven of cups. Somebody's confused. Okay. Something here changes. There is this determined energy and there is joy that this death of this negative situation is here. Now, this can also be interchanged. This can be you were pushing forward, something was really difficult, it felt like an obstacle, and now something is making, you're finally feeling very confident. Hierophant, something, someone could be fixing a situation, repairing it, um, solving a problem there could have been emotional manipulation going on here page of coin um 
Okay, the wheel and the change. What is the wheel and the, what is this outcome about for Aries and their love life? Okay, two of cups. There's a strong partnership, a bond between two people. There is love. There is a connection. This is like love conquers all. Even if it was really stressful, you know, something happened, it's, it's very stressful. This is like you can make it through. Um, maybe somebody was doing shadow work and they realized, you know, this isn't working. What is the devil here? What is the devil? Emperor, power and control. Um, it could be someone who was wanting to be very controlling in a situation. The Page of Swords, though, was very petty. Very petty. Very petty challenges. Now, what is this um, Nine of Cups? Wish coming true. What is this Nine of Cups? The Knight of Coin. Somebody comes towards you making a real connection with you. What is the Queen of Wands? Oh, wow. Surprise. And um, what is this Queen of Wands doing or saying? Oh, the victory card. Okay, so there's something here about recognition, being seen and recognized, appreciation, accolades. Um, fame and fortune. King of water is underlying. Okay, so there's something about a person who loves and appreciates you. Um, something here changes. A, very, a negative situation changes for the better. I like this energy. It's really good. Um, something takes off quickly. So show us here. We have the romance angels. What is going on for Aries and the romantic love life? Let go of control. Somebody could have been trying to be in control here. Controlling energy. What else? The passion. Forgiving and learning. Okay. And allow your heart to and soul to sing with joy. So being positive, um, having a positive attitude can really help with the sun in Gemini. Because Gemini is the way we think and the words that we say. So just make sure you only say positive words. Speak positive words over your life and your relationship. I mean, if it's a bad relationship, you don't have to say anything. Because the words that you say manifest. So you could say, I have love in my life, even if you don't. Oh my goodness, some of you are going to get married here with the engagement. Okay, because the two of cups, the engagement with this knight of coins, somebody wants to make it real with you. Okay, there's a separation. Um, time apart. Okay, so what else do we have here? Finances and career are on your mind. Okay, it says romantic feelings and red flags. Okay, so romantic feelings and red flags. I don't know. It's like so many cards. I just want to get one overall message. I can't wait. I'm getting new Romance Angels cards. These ones are so old. And they just, they're so old. And it's a mini deck. I'm not crazy about it, but. So, there could be a spy. There could be somebody who's watching you as well. This whole situation is going to change. Everything is going to work out here in your situation. Um. There's a sudden realization. There's a sudden victory. Uh, all right. Let's see. Show us Aries and their romantic love life. Positive thinking is important. Positive words. 
you want to, you know, um, have a optimistic, bright attitude towards all things. Um, negative just begets negative. You just get more negative. So let's see. Children. Worth waiting for. Deception. <laughs> There was the death of a devil and new love. Okay. All right. Aries, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you for tuning into your love read. I wish you all the best and take care.